just to go one level deeper, the reason networking events don't work is that substantive interactions require three things, context, stakes, and upside. And I'll explain each one. First, context. You have to have something to bond you together, to have a reason why you're there. So common interests, goals, or maybe you were brought together by circumstances. Maybe, you know, your company implemented some new technology and you need to learn about it so you don't get fired or that, or you look good at, at work. Stakes. When you get a warm introduction from somebody, somebody who knows you, and it doesn't go well, that can negatively affect your reputation. And if it goes really well, it could positively affect your reputation. So everyone has something at stake and you don't want to make the person who made the introduction look bad either. There's something in it for everybody. But when you're complete strangers, there's no bond like that. There are no stakes. You know, things don't work out. Someone burns you. Who cares? You don't know any of their friends. They don't know any of your friends. It's done. And finally, upside. All parties have to perceive that they have comparable upside, whether it's tangible or intangible. So intangible could be something like, you know, maybe I love mentoring young people. So I would go to, to an event where there's a lot of young people and find myself someone to mentor. So that's not a tangible thing. I won't get, you know, money out of it or, or a new company or a new uh, business partner, but it's, you know, it's valuable to me. So there are those cases, but they're still not going to these events. And realistically, most networking events are a taker on taker crime. You can't have two people show up both expecting to take and walk away with something meaningful. And there are strategies that work. 